My name is Jonathan Thomas. I'm a third year automotive service technician and today we're going to be going over some basic warning lights that may come on your vehicle while you're driving. There's many reasons why the battery light could come on. You know, uh, your belt may have broke, a loose connection, a bad alternator. You know, a lot of different factors can evolve to this. So when you see the red light with the battery come on, try and st get your stop, pull over to the side of the road before you cause more damage, or your vehicle may just shut off while you're driving and don't think you want that. There's many reasons why your temperature coolant light may come on. You know, you may be low on coolant, um, you may be overheating. So there's a lot of different factors. Same thing, you wanna try and get over to the side of the road because if you continue driving, it may go from a relatively cheap, simple fix to needing a new engine because you're gonna wreck something. The reason why your oil pressure light may come on is many different factors as well. You may be low on oil, you may have a severe oil leak. It's fairly difficult if you're just driving and all of a sudden the light comes on. Same thing, pull over, get to the side of the road, stop your vehicle, otherwise, and shut it off. Otherwise, you may have lots more problems than just an oil leak. There's many different reasons why your brake warning light may come on. You may have low pads, so you may not be able to stop. There may be hydraulic pressure leak somewhere, so you're leaking brake fluid. So it may still function temporarily, long enough for you to get to the side of the road. But if you wait too long, you may be driving and all of a sudden, oh look, no brakes. If your airbag light comes on, it's usually malfunction, so there's something wrong with the airbag system. So basically what that means is, if you get into a collision, you won't get airbags. So it's gonna hurt a lot more if you get into an accident. So if your end check or your mill light is flashing, it means your emissions are one and a half times the federal mandated. So basically it's gonna cause damage to your vehicle. And if you continue to drive it long enough, you will start losing you know, options such as heated seats, heated steering wheels, your radio. It's just, there may not be nothing else wrong. It's your vehicle trying to tell you, get me checked out before I cause more damage. Your service engine light comes on when you know it's time for basic maintenance such as an oil change. Pre-program things in the computer that says, yes, you need to get this checked and updated and cleaned versus the mill light it means something is wrong it needs repairs so with your check engine lights or your mill lights there's two different colors the red is needs service immediately so pull your vehicle over try and get it to the service station as soon as possible whereas the orange are warning so you have a little bit more time to get them in to get them looked at the looks of all your symbols are all pretty much generic throughout all vehicles. Just certain vehicles will have more, some will have less. All depends on what options you have in your vehicle. 